Real Madrid uh, wins the Adidas Next Generation the tournament in, a, in an impressive way. You score 33 points, get the MVP honor. Is there uh, any better feeling right now? No, no, no better feeling than when they give us a trophy and when we leave the trophy. For sure, no, no better feeling. Yeah, um, how would you how would you uh, um, um, describe the um, the consistency of Real over the the, the whole tournament? Because you guys uh, it seemed uh, seemed like you had no downfall. I mean, we always every game we enter with the mentality to be aggressive uh, phys physically and in every aspect of the game, and we don't. Uh, we just try to to keep the rhythm at, at how we like. And uh, we listen to the coaches, obviously, but we are also very good as a team, and that and that is also hard in some teams because we have a very good team that is full of 12 players, like really good players. And sometimes in some teams that's very hard to manage, like the team. But we manage very good, and as you can see, every game, if someone comes off the bench, he doesn't. He doesn't slow the pace or the rhythm of the game. He just keeps it going, going, going. And that's the most. Uh, I think that's the most. Uh, that's the most thing that separates us from other teams. Yeah. How would you uh, describe in, gen in general your game and uh, what's next in line for Mario Nart? <laughs> uh, I would describe my game as doing what, whatever. I need to do for the team to win, but obviously maybe some people see me as more of a scorer. That is true, but uh, I just sometimes try to adjust to the team because Usman is playing with me, Amar, Karim, Giga, all everyone, Boris, they're all great players. So we we really adjust and we play like a team, and and uh, that's what gave us the trophy this year. And, Next for Mario Nakic is, I don't know, I have to keep working and never stop and be really with two feet on the ground always.